Greetings folks, Sandip here, your travel companion. Today we're off to the bustling metropolis of Beijing. A city where ancient traditions meet modern marvels, Beijing is a treasure trove of history, culture and some of the world's most iconic landmarks. From the awe-inspiring Great Wall to the opulent Forbidden City and tranquil Summer Palace, we'll delve deep into the heart of this city's allure. So fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this virtual journey to the heart of China. First stop, none other than the Great Wall of China. This architectural marvel stretching over 13,000 miles is not just a wall, it's a symbol of China's enduring strength and resilience. Conceived over 2,000 years ago, it was built to protect the Chinese Empire from invasions. The wall was constructed by various dynasties over many centuries. It's a testament to human tenacity and ingenuity. Can you imagine the sheer will it took to build such a structure, mainly by hand, across mountains, deserts, and rivers? As we stroll along this ancient fortification, you can almost feel the echoes of history. Picture the countless soldiers stationed here, standing guard, watching for signs of invaders. The wall was their home, their battleground, and their fortress. Beyond its historical significance, the Great Wall is a sight to behold. The panorama of the wall snaking through the rugged landscapes, the vast sky overhead, the sense of tranquility, it's truly breathtaking. It's a place where the grandeur of nature meets the brilliance of human creation. The wall has also seen its share of transformations. Parts of it have crumbled away, while others have been restored. Yet it continues to stand, a beacon of China's past, present and future. And let's not forget the cultural significance. The Great Wall is more than a tourist destination. It's a symbol of Chinese unity and national pride. It's a reminder of the country's rich history and its journey through time. Today, the Great Wall is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting millions of visitors each year. It's a place of discovery, a place to marvel at the human spirit and the passage of time. Isn't it fascinating how this ancient fortification has stood the test of time? Next, we journey to the Forbidden City, an epitome of imperial grandeur. Nestled in the heart of Beijing, this sprawling compound is a testament to China's lofty past. As we traverse its magnificent expanse, we are transported back in time to the golden age of Chinese dynasties. The Forbidden City, also known as the Palace Museum, was the seat of imperial power for five centuries. From the Ming Dynasty to the end of the Qing Dynasty, 24 emperors called this place home. Its name, Forbidden, signifies the divine power of the emperor, as it was believed that no one could enter or leave without his permission. The architecture of the Forbidden City is a marvel of ancient Chinese artistry. An astounding collection of wooden structures, all painted in vibrant hues of red and gold, stand as a testament to the grandeur of traditional Chinese architecture. The city is meticulously planned, with a symmetrical layout reflecting the Chinese belief in a harmoniously ordered universe. The Forbidden City is not just an architectural masterpiece, it's also a treasure trove of culture and history. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it holds a place of global significance. It houses nearly a million rare and valuable works of art, making it one of the largest museum collections in the world. This imperial city, spanning over 750,000 square meters, is surrounded by a moat and a colossal wall. Inside, a total of 980 surviving buildings, with over 8,000 rooms, await exploration. It's a city within a city, a world within a world. Its breathtaking palaces, intricate carvings and opulent courtyards tell tales of a time when emperors ruled and dynasties flourished. Every corner, every stone, every artifact holds a story, a piece of history that adds to the rich tapestry of China's cultural heritage. The Forbidden City, a true testimony of China's rich history and culture. Now, let's venture to the Summer Palace, Beijing's Imperial Garden. Imagine a place where emperors and empresses once sought refuge from the summer heat, a place that is a perfect blend of nature and architecture. That's the Summer Palace for you. Nestled in the heart of Beijing, the Summer Palace is a testament to the artistic creativity and craftsmanship of ancient China. Spread across an area larger than 800 football fields, this imperial garden is a sight to behold. With the serene Kunming Lake enveloping three-quarters of its expanse, 
The Summer Palace paints an exquisite picture of harmony between human construction and the natural landscape. The palace is a labyrinth of pavilions, bridges and temples, each with its own story to tell. Among the nearly 3,000 structures, the 17-arch bridge, the longest bridge in the palace, is a marvel that showcases the intricacy of Chinese architecture. The bridge, adorned with 354 stone lions, is a sight to behold at sunset when the golden rays reflect off the water, casting a magical glow on the structure. The Summer Palace has also been a silent witness to the changing tides of Chinese history. Constructed during the Qing Dynasty, it has been the summer retreat for emperors and empresses who sought solace in its tranquil surroundings. The palace has seen times of prosperity and destruction, being rebuilt twice after being ravaged during the Second Opium War and the Boxer Rebellion. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the Summer Palace has always emerged more splendid than before. Today, it stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offering a glimpse into the regal life of the past while providing a tranquil escape in the bustling city of Beijing. As we wander through the garden's winding paths, under the shade of ancient trees, past the ornate bridges and over the tranquil lake, we are transported back in time, experiencing the elegance of royal leisure firsthand. The Summer Palace, where you can bask in the elegance of royal leisure. Our final stop is the Temple of Heaven, a masterpiece of architectural harmony. This stunning structure, nestled in the heart of Beijing, is a testament to the intricate relationship between nature, architecture and spirituality. Its unique circular design is not just a visual delight, but a profound symbol of the connection between heaven and earth. Here, every curve, every hue and every stone tells a story of ancient traditions and celestial reverence. The Temple of Heaven, or Tiantan as it is locally known, was more than a place of worship. It was the stage where emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties would perform solemn rituals, praying for good harvests and divine blessings. With the rhythm of the seasons, they would offer sacrifices and engage in elaborate ceremonies, their actions echoing the eternal dance between humanity and the universe. The colors in the temple are not just aesthetically pleasing, but also hold deep symbolic meaning. The azure roof, for instance, represents the heavens, while the green tiles symbolize the earth. This color coding extends even to the surrounding walls and gates, creating a visually stunning tableau of cosmic harmony. The Temple of Heaven is not just a single building, but a complex of religious structures spread over an area of 273 hectares. Among these, the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests is particularly noteworthy. With its triple gabled circular roof and exquisite carvings, it stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of ancient China. In 1998, this sacred edifice earned its rightful place as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a recognition of its historical and cultural significance. Today, it stands as a beacon of China's rich heritage, attracting millions of visitors each year who come to marvel at its architectural splendor and soak in its spiritual aura. So, whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or a spiritual seeker, the Temple of Heaven is a destination that promises to captivate and inspire. It is a place where the past and the present, the earthly and the divine, the tangible and the mystical, all intersect. The Temple of Heaven, where architecture and spirituality meet in perfect harmony. Well, that brings us to the end of our virtual tour. Let's take a moment to reminisce about the incredible places we've journeyed through in Beijing. Our first stop was none other than the magnificent Great Wall of China, a symbol of the country's rich history and resilience. Here we witnessed the grandeur of this mammoth structure snaking through the hills, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Next, we ventured into the heart of Beijing, to the Forbidden City. This extensive palace complex with its vibrant red walls and golden roofs was once the exclusive domain of Chinese emperors. Its stunning architecture and the fascinating stories behind its walls are a chapter out of a glorious past. The Summer Palace, our third stop, was a refreshing change of pace. This royal garden, with its tranquil lake and beautifully landscaped gardens, offered a serene escape from the bustling city a testament to the Chinese appreciation of nature's beauty. Finally, we visited the Temple of Heaven, 
an architectural masterpiece and a spiritual sanctuary. Here, we felt the spiritual energy that has drawn worshippers for centuries, a unique blend of tranquility and reverence. Each of these places offered us unforgettable experiences, immersing us in the rich tapestry of Chinese history, culture, and beauty. I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. This is Sandip, signing off until our next adventure. Goodbye and take care.